Sega. It was very important for us this time in, in Conduit to, to be uh, a lot less linear in our level progression. It felt like a lot of corridors, and it was all set in Washington, D.C., which was great because it was iconic. People could pick up on it right away. They might recognize things from movies and that sort of thing. But the, the downside of that is you're fighting in a lot of spaces that feel the same, and there's not, it, you don't feel like it's a big open world at all in Conduit 2, we wanted to feel much more realized with events going on around you. Um, a lot more wow moments of things that the player can choose to interact with or not. You can actually track your missions through your user interface. You can see like what objectives you've completed and what objectives are coming. And then also um, you can, as you're scanning items using your ASC and earning credits for those items, you can go into the user interface and you can view every item that you've scanned, learn a little bit more about the backstory. And uh, we've just done, I think, a way better job this time at just fleshing things out so that it's more obvious to the player what they're supposed to do, where they're supposed to go next, and then it's just a way better record of the things that you've done. So it just uh, feels like a way more robust experience this time. As you're progressing through the game, you can choose which order you go into, uh, into a mission through a hub system as opposed to, again, being forced to go down a singular path. Those were all things that were really critical to us to, to make the game feel more alive. And that all came from fan feedback. So we really wanted to listen to them and hear what they had to say and apply it to what we were doing. Mr. Ford suit has definitely been upgraded from the first game and as the player starts off you'll see that you are using the suit from the last game but in the new game there's actually a really dramatic uh, sequence where Mr. Ford's suit becomes upgraded and then after doing that what can happen is you can go in and um, modify your suit to let yourself jump higher, run faster, take more damage um, and it just makes it so it's not just a visual upgrade, but there's also some actual gameplay enhancements this time, which is a really big feature change between the Conduits 1 and 2 that we're really happy about. Uh, Conduit 2 has a great deal of customization. First game, we had some customization of Control and HUD. We extend that even further. We even have a great deal of customization of the character, uh, so you can change out your avatar in multiplayer. Um, all of the component pieces of that avatar, each of, the, each of them have over 20 modular pieces uh, with um, uh, a primary and secondary color. You can go in and, and tweak out your stats. So you have a lot of modifiers such as being able to uh, run longer or uh, shoot better with certain types of weapons. Uh, and it's, it allows for a great deal of variety and allows players to play how they want to play. Glitching and hacking is a real problem with any online game. Uh, you have issues with uh, folks coming in and disrupting the play experience for people that legitimately purchase the game. Uh, we're very cognizant of that and we wanted to make sure that the play experience was as good as possible for, those pe for the people that want to have a great experience. Um, so we have a, uh, patching and updates that will go on throughout it. And we've been a lot more airtight in that experience, making sure that those exploits aren't, aren't quite as obvious to, the, to uh, people that might want to be more nefarious in their online uh, exploits. Best of luck to you and your little